Welcome back guys, welcome to another part of this tutorial series and in this video I'm actually going to show you how to install Vue.js and start using it with Laravel 8. But before we start, I want to say, um, I want to apologize, I have not been dropping videos for the past few days, I've been busy with work and uh, I'm, I'm actually free for the rest of the week so I'm going to record um, some videos and I'll be posting them. So let's get started. Uh, I got a comment from one of my subscribers on YouTube and he told me to actually create uh, roles and permission with Laravel Vue.js and uh, I told him I'll be switching to Laravel Vue.js and um, I've actually created the permission using plain Laravel, uh, Laravel Blade uh, template and uh, I haven't created the rules. I'll be doing that. Uh, I'll be doing that with Vue.js. So uh, what we just need to do is actually install the Vue.js to get started. So if you go over to Vue.js, um, Vue.js.org, and you should go over to the documentation, get started, and that will get you started on how to install, uh, how you can install it. But I'm actually going to use. Um, a bootstrap view framework which makes everything easier for us so if you go to bootstrapview.org and go to the documentation uh, documentation section and uh, you find how you can uh, you're going to see how you can install the view uh, view bootstrap uh, framework so to get started you just need to copy this npm command copy that and copy that to your uh, root directory open your terminal and copy that and actually install it so this is going to install three frameworks three libraries it's going to install the view it's going to install the bootstrap view and it's going to install the bootstrap just click enter and that is going to install everything so i've done that on my system so i don't need to do it anymore so uh, so the next thing you actually need to do is actually require those files actually uh, tell your application you want to use those files so uh, to require them is very easy you just have to read through the documentation and to do that you need to import view you need to import view and uh, you import view not you paste import view and uh you need to import the view bootstrap view to and actually use them so we come over here paste this and that's all that's all we need to do to actually use the view um view bootstrap view so uh i'm just going to change this code right here because I don't like using view this way. I'm just going to say uh, window dot view uh, window dot view equal to require so I'm just going to require view like this view. I'm just going to make this a capital letter because I'm using a capital letter here, so I'm going to make this a capital letter. So the next thing I'm just going to do is to create a new instance for the view, um, the view JS. So to do that, it's very simple. Just say window, uh, window dot fire, and I'm just going to say it's going to new view, new view, and that will be all. This is actually going to be, and that's all, and that's all, and um, so we've successfully installed a required view and bootstrap view, and guys, if you want to use the CSS file, is it's very simple. Just import it. Go to your CSS uh, files. Go to your CSS file. And actually import it here and I'm actually not going to do this because it's not compulsory it's uh, it's optional uh, 
and uh, I already have the uh, bootstrap and actually I'm not going to actually use uh, use most of the bootstrap view I'm actually going to use um, just a section of it so as we go on in this video I'm actually going to, to uh, you're actually going to get to understand what I'm talking about so um, let's just start our application